I posted a photo of this tiny home on my Instagram and so many of you asked to see the inside that I tracked down the owners, Bruce and Lisa, and we're gonna go inside and check out the interior together. Make this house our tiny home. Oh. The first time we thought about having a tiny home, I thought, what a novel idea, and it would be a great way to travel. I started looking at builders, and we found Sharon Reed at Seattle Tiny Homes. We started the building process two years ago, and last summer, 2017, we had it delivered, and we rent it out part-time, and sometimes we stay here, and sometimes we travel in it. The square footage is approaching 400 square feet with both of the lofts and the length is 35 and a half feet long. So changing lanes is definitely something to be careful of on the highway. This summer the summit went with my husband and friends all the way back to Toronto and Niagara Falls. It's quite a novelty when you pull into a park or an overnight spot. People definitely want to ask questions about the towing and the house. I think we would like to explore living in it full time at some point, just to see if we like it and, and we may decide to do that in the future. So when we thought about building a tiny house, we wanted to make sure that it was really comfortable and if someday we decided to live in it, we'd want it to feel like home. So for me, that meant having a kitchen with ample counter space and we have a five burner stove and the microwave, of course, and a really large fridge, just like at home. And the counter is quartz, so we spent a long time actually figuring out the design and which one we liked. And we had these dove gray cabinets chose, so that it just wasn't entirely white. But I definitely wanted to have a nice bright feeling to it, so that's why we chose the really large windows and the arch kind of echoes the arch in the front door. And a double oven? Yes, because that way you don't have to heat up an entire big oven, so you can use the space in two smaller compartments. This has got that fun color interior. And we put in a Bosch dishwasher and it's tiny, but it's very quiet and it runs really quickly. This is where the on-demand water heater is. We never run out of hot water because it's just available immediately. And we have some pantry space. The bathroom is pretty much a full accommodated bathroom. There's a full-size tub and this is a hammer nickel sink that I was pretty excited to find online. <laughs> Complete with bubbles. And we opted to go with a separate washer and dryer. It runs small loads, but it, it does it really efficiently and really well. We haven't had any trouble with it. We kind of like the models that had just the washer and dryer built into one unit, but the dryers are notoriously slow. And we just installed this new toilet. It's an Incinolet which just runs on electricity and so that's been pretty low maintenance. And also if we're off-grid at a park or what have you, we don't have to hook it up to plumbing. So that makes it really versatile. Different furniture options that are really handy for space saving are things like this table and it folds down with both leaves and then when you open the compartment you can see in there you can fit six chairs inside. It was really tricky finding this couch, actually. We searched in a lot of stores in person, Ikea and what have you, and online, and finally we found one that fit just in the space. Sharon has three drawers incorporated underneath that hold a lot of different games and supplies and blankets and things. Another thing I really liked in some of the places that we saw was having a fireplace. So this is actually produces a lot of heat. So the fan is on, it's electric fireplace, and you can make the kaleidoscope of colors go so you can see them. It looks very real to me, that wall covering, but it's all lightweight. So in a tiny house, you're always trying to seek out lightweight options because the house is over 35 feet long and it definitely got heavy quickly, putting everything inside of it. This room is really versatile. It can either be used as a guest bedroom, an office space, Eventually, when it's just the two of us, this will probably be an office slash workout area. There are three televisions. One's in the office space, one of the large ones here, and then there's a third one upstairs in the larger loft. 
So we store one of the ladders here that goes to the smaller loft and it's folded in half and then it's out of the way and then it's really easy to set up. This is the guest loft. So everybody's got their own reading light. You can see where this handle is located and this lifts up and the whole floor has storage so you can keep long things like skis or things you don't need every day. So that way it doesn't interfere with the mattress being here. And this loft is bigger. This one is 12 feet deep. We just have a few storage units up here. All these are drawers that you can keep things in. We have quite a few of these little stools which are super handy for keeping extra bedding in. And then there's another television up here, the same kind of lighting. And there's also an emergency door up there that leads out to the deck. I love the idea of having lots of large windows. So we have all these upper long windows and then all the blinds are remote. So the blinds that we can't reach here in the center part and even in the second loft we have remotes for. So another thing was we wanted to enjoy some outdoor space and have it kind of permanently set up with the grill and the furniture. So over the fifth wheel we had this deck built and we have a little ladder here so you can come on up. Just gives you a little bird's eye view of the neighborhood. So we have our tiny house parked at Mount Hood Tiny House Village, which we actually found out from you, Jenna, because you had your house journey parked here and we thought, well, that's a great solution. People often ask, how do we move this? And it, the house moves really easily, actually. The fifth wheel's in the back of the bed of the truck and we just pull up the truck to the front and hook it up and it is a one-ton truck with the dual wheels and you see it says wild friends foods my daughter and her best friend back at u of o started the company they sell nut and seed butter and now oatmeal and they're in about 10,000 stores across the country so as we're driving around we like to give a little shout out to them so we did look at rvs we went to an rv show and i really loved a lot of the amenities like having a fireplace that gave me the idea to put one in here but I also really liked with the tiny house how the windows make it feel like home. And it just felt very comfortable, like you're in your home on the road. Check back soon for more tiny house and travel videos.